Hello my beautiful MK Love fam, welcome back to another episode and if you're new here my name is Melanie Kate Love, helping you to heal the emotional pain from your childhood trauma, break that cycle of abuse in your family and in your relationships which will then allow you to manifest the partner of your dreams. So today we are on the throat chakra, which is the fifth energy center within the body. We've already covered the four previous to it, the root, the sacral, the solar, and the heart chakra. So this is a beautiful opportunity and I'm so excited to share this with you. I know that it's gonna help a lot of you have the awareness about where you are in your life. So let's talk about the throat chakra. The throat chakra is an energy center located within your body around your throat, your neck, and your shoulder area. Now it identifies with your creative self-expression, the element of sound, and its biggest challenge comes with making peace with deceit. If you've ever had somebody lie to your face, behind your back, whatever it is, then you're gonna love what I'm about to share with you. On the screen right now, we have three different boxes, deficient, balanced, or excessive. Now, if you have a blocked throat chakra and you're def deficient, you could have difficulty speaking up for yourself. You could have excessive shyness, you could be indecisive, you have a sore throat, you could have thyroid issues, really. Um, you could be very secretive, but if you're excessive or you've been in communication with someone who's excessive, they could be an excessive talker. They're a poor listener, they gossip, um, you can't keep secrets, you could be very judgmental or a pathological liar. There's a lot involved with this one. If you're balanced, then this could look like that you speak your truth, you are an active listener, you have effective and clear communication, you're honest and you are authentic. <sighs> Interesting. So if you're anything like me, you may have experienced Oh, all of them, really. <laughs> There's a lot. You may have grown up in a family where you had to keep secrets to protect somebody in your family because you didn't want it getting out and you didn't want other people to judge you. Or you could be so judgmental. You could know people that are judgmental. You could be very judgment towards yourself. You may not speak up for yourself. Like There's so many different aspects of it. And I've been quite a lot of them actually. And it took me quite a long time to find my voice. Like there was a really long time where I never used to sing in front of everybody. And now when songs just come up from me, if you watch the rest of the videos in this series, songs just come up to me now and I just sing them and I'm like, yeah, I, it, whatever comes out, I just go with it. I don't like edit it out. So, and also being like authentic to you. Like that's a really powerful place to be. It's like when you've truly, learn to unblock the rest of the chakras and you, you know like the root chakra you're like got a strong stable foundation you know who you are the sacral chakra pleasure you seek pleasure in everyday life whether it's um platonic or it's sexual or whatever it is the solar plexus whether you're now uh, your personal power you embrace that inner line within you the heart chakra, you learn to truly love who you are, flaws and all. You forgave all of those people that caused you pain. And now you're about to speak up for yourself and be like, you know, when I was a little kid, you did this and it is not okay. And it's like, I forgive you. Why? Because I set myself free. I want to release, release these shackles that have been keeping my hands in. And I want to speak up to you and be like, don't talk to me like this. And then you learn to you learn to teach others the way that you want to be treated. That took me a long time, a very long time to learn. And it's a, it's a difficult one as you're navigating through it because you're like, you don't want to be rude, but it's so unfamiliar to you and it's very scary and your voice may quiver and shake and all of that kind of stuff. But it's like, actually, you're an asshole or you're being rude and don't speak to me like that. And in my coaching program, we talk explicitly about this. We have a worksheet called Healing Conversations and I literally help my clients structure the healing conversations they're going to have with the people who abuse them in their childhood, in their current relationships, whatever it is. There's lots of them, but it always stems from the childhood. And then they're either the relationship that they were in um, is mirror reflection of that. And it's like, okay, we're gonna take our power back and we're going to say that it's not okay. And we don't give a shit what you say. You know, the healing conversations is designed to say, 
I don't care what you have to say back. I just need to tell you how I feel and how you react as a reflection of you. It has nothing to do with me. Absolutely nothing. I just came here to say my piece. And then whatever they say, you're like, okay, thank you so much for telling me that. And then you do a lot of releasing. Um, there's a lot involved with that. So much to do with the throat chakra. Um, one of the ways I love to unblock the throat chakra is singing. Singing unblocks it or exercises where you stick your tongue out and you go, <sighs> helps to loosen underneath there. That's what one of my singing teachers taught me when I was in high school. You had to go, my time and fell, well, yeah, it just loosens it all up and you kind of feel like more in your power. So I wonder what's coming up for you in your life right now. Like write in the comments right below, are you deficient, balanced, or excessive? Where are you on your journey right now? Where do you feel you are? If you're balanced, fabulous. If you're not, repeat after me. I am where I am and it's okay. What's truly beautiful is that the fact that you're watching this video right here, right now, is a divine synchronicity. There's a reason why you clicked on this video. You know, maybe you're curious and you'd be like, oh, is my throat chakra blocked? I'm not sure. Where are you? Type it down below. Are you deficient, balanced, or excessive? So I'm gonna pull some cards for you now just to give you some clarity from your angels just to see what you need to know to move forward. All right, whoa, there's a lot. They have a lot to say. They've given me three cards, so let me just pull the first one, and if I need more information, I'll pull the other two. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. This is a lovely card. So the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's creating a solid foundation that is abundant. It is, ooh, how do I link that in with the throat chakra? It's just creating a, a solid foundation, but you've gotten to such a place, like you've been on such a journey. This is abundance, so this is not your emotions. Oh, I didn't expect this to come up. This is abundance in every aspect of your life. However this looks like for you, whatever is coming up for you. Let me tell more of the story by pulling the other cards. The Page of Swords, okay. So it's like you have an idea, but it was actually reversed. So you had an idea of what you need to do, but you second-guessed yourself. You didn't speak up for yourself. We kind of know that, so that makes sense. And then we've got the Temperance, which is a major arcana, which is all about finding your balance. And it's the balance when the moon has its time to shine, and also when the sun has its time to shine. It's finding the balance in your life. You may be holding yourself back, but you are the only one that can take control of your life. I'm, yeah, I'm an international childhood trauma healer, but I don't heal you. I show you the strategies, the tools, and I show you how to use the chakra system to heal. I don't do it for you. I help you, and I do it quite intensely in my eight-week program, or I can help you do that each month on my women's um, online moon circle for $11.11. .11. can join me online for an hour around the full moon, and I can help you heal. It just depends where you're at. Do you need like a little bit of help, or do you need intensive help? Can you do this by yourself? I did it by myself. It just took me seven years to do it, to find the key to unlock my voice, you know? But it's not impossible. You have to decide, is this something that you want to heal right now? Or do you have some time? Or are you kind of happy progressing at the rate in which you're at? Honestly, ask yourself this. Over the past seven days, like what have you done to help heal yourself? Speaking up for yourself, what have you done? Are you happy with where you're at? If you're not, then you need to seek help. Sometimes we can't do this by ourselves. Sometimes we need other people. You know, it could be somebody just saying, you've got this. And if that person is me, I'm like, you've got this. This is your permission slip to start taking things back into your own, into your own hands and know that you have the power to change your life. You have the opportunity to speak up for yourself. But if you have other chakras, the lower chakras that are, um, that are, um, that are blocked, your root, which is your foundation in life, your sacral chakra, which is your pleasure, your creativity, your solar plexus, which is your personal power, your heart chakra, which is love for yourself and other people. If all of those are blocked, there's no way you can speak up for yourself because you're scared shitless and you don't know who you are. You don't have your security. You don't have that. You haven't forgiven people. You haven't done this, 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 and this. It's like, you have to start from the bottom and then work your way up. That's kind of what I'm saying. 
Anyways, my love, I hope this has given you some help and some insight to help you have some awareness about what is the throat chakra, where is it located, hence the name, and what does it mean if you're deficient, balanced, or excessive? What does this look like for you in your life? Like there's been so many times in my life where I didn't speak up for myself, so many times. Um, and now I'm at the place where I manifested the partner of my dreams, my beautiful husband, Peter, where there's no mind games in our relationship. It, our relationship gets better by the day. And I manifested that because that's one of my things that I wrote down. Our relationship gets better by the day. Each day I wake up um, and we're like, it just feels like I just had a sleepover with my best friend, <laughs> you know? Like, it's incredible that that's where I'm at because 10, 11 years ago, I was in a four year toxic, narcissistic relationship with somebody who I allowed to treat me less than I deserve. He had so much power over me. He was my dad. He was not a nice person and I allowed him to treat me like that because of the relationship that I saw modeled between my mom and my dad when I was younger. You know, and my mom now, like how many years, 35, 40 years, has now found her voice and it took a lot for her to get to that stage and you can change your life like I honestly believe that you have what you need already inside you may not even need me to help you because everything is already within that's the thing that's why I said I'm not I'm a healer but I don't heal you I help show you how to unlock it within yourself so wherever you are on your journey just know you can get through this time whatever it is you can get through it I'm living proof. You can check out my beautiful success stories and my beautiful coaching clients. Um, there's a lot involved in this, but just be gentle with yourself. Um, I hear the song from Katie Tunstall. I bruise easily. No, Natasha Benningfield. <clears throat> so be gentle when you handle me. There's a mark you live. I can love her. Da, 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 da. I bruise easily to scratch the surface. I bruise easily. That's your anthem. So you have to be gentle with yourself. And the judgmental part, if you're excessive and you're excessive towards yourself, you need to go through the other chakras before you even get to this stage. You can't just heal this one if the other ones below are blocked. It, it just won't work. You won't be strong in your convictions and you won't be... What, what is the word? You won't be your authentic self. You won't have clear and concise communication. So that's why I recommend going through unblocking each chakra at a time. There's so many ways to, to do it. If you want to know more, check the link in my description. It's melaniekatelove.com forward slash free training if you want to join the coaching program and see what I have to offer or forward slash circle to join the moon circle. Anyways, they're my ways to help you choose Whatever works best for you. And I heard, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Anyways, there we're at. That's where we're at, my loves. Have an amazing day wherever around the world. Sending you so much love. And repeat after me. I am where I am. And it's okay. I surrender to the process. And I set myself free. I love you, I love you, I love you. Goodbye.